When you're doing your research for your, your daily show, do you ever look to uh, American or Australian or UK news, what's going on, and um, those hot trending topics allow them to bleed into your show as well, even if it's not happening so much in Thailand? A really good uh, question. And I do think when there's hot topics that I find interesting, uh, US politics I find um, a, a gun laws in America. I find these things quite fascinating. I've got a point of view about them, but I try not to to let them go onto my channel because I mean my niche is Thai news in English, and uh, there's a lot millions of other channels that talk about all those other issues, and I don't really want to compete with them. And at the same time, um, it's a bit difficult for me to whinge about American gun laws because I'm not American and I don't have a gun. So people could rightfully say, it's not, not your business, stop talking about it. However, if there's shootings in Thailand, for example, and there have been recently, I may draw comparisons to what's happened in the US or what happened in Australia when there was a, a huge crackdown on, uh, on gun laws, which has resulted in a massive drop in mass shootings. That evidence is quite clear but what happens in the US is much deeper and more complicated. But I don't let those things really creep onto the channel. I think now, like what I, I never watched the news b uh, back in Canada or US or wherever, um, obviously from Canada, but there's a huge... Has anything ever happened in Canada? Or? Uh, some, I mostly, so I think South Park covered it all years ago. <laughs> We're okay. There, there's a huge trans movement now. And I think that can connect to Thailand because... That's always been here and it's always out, out in the open. And I mean, we have our lady boys here. But so that movement, you don't really notice here. Now it's huge in, in the US and kids are taking, uh, they're taking hormones and they're being, you know, mutilated. Do you touch upon that or what are your thoughts on that? Well, Steve and I covered this uh, recently and uh, we do talk about the, the different approach of just regular Thai people to people who are transgender. And uh, it's a very different dynamic. I think a lot of foreigners come here and they sort of go, <clears throat> have a bit of a giggle behind their hand. But most Thais don't think twice about it. It's uh, very much a part of the, the culture here. You know, I, I find it difficult, again, and I don't want to sort of get into the politics, but you will find that uh, there, there are some politicians in the US who will spend hours whinging and talking and getting headlines about a, a trans person reading to children, but they couldn't give a fig about 32 people getting killed in a mass shooting. It just There's just total dichotomy in what makes news there. But I, I, I don't, again, uh, let that uh, come, come into the discussions, but when there are discussions about transgender issues in Thailand, I think it's uh, worthy to compare it to what happens in other parts of the world. But Steve and I did recognise that uh, there is a, a massive difference and that you can, on a day-to-day -day basis, walk into a shop and there'll be a transgender person uh, serving you. And I don't blink an eye. I don't even sort of think about it anymore. Are, are they taking hormones at a young age in Thailand, kind of what they're really trying to push back in the US? Well, who's pushing that? I mean, I think there's people who assume that there's someone pushing it. And I don't think there's anybody sort of forcing any young person into anything. But the, a lot of politicians like to think that there is some huge push to, you know, let these uh, youngsters harm themselves. It's a very complicated and a very personal issue. And I think that each person needs to be left to decide that and talk it, about it with their family and a, a properly trained uh, physician. The politicians should just keep out of it. What happens in the bedrooms of, uh, of anywhere in the world is nothing to do with the politicians. So uh, in the same way in Thailand, uh, every trans person has gone about it in their own personal way. Some go into the hormones, some have a full physical transition. Uh, some really don't do anything, they just dress up. So everybody does it in their own way. But I don't care. I really don't care if a, a person wants to live their life any way they want. I couldn't care less. And literally, if a trans person walks in, I don't bat an eyelid. I, I'd care about what they've got to say and who they are. What's between their legs is of no interest to me. If you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. 
If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.